awkward silences are this thing which guys consider to be like a really bad thing and something that you should avoid at all costs but actually it's not that bad really it's just it's actually quite a natural thing if you think about it like you know you're talking to someone and then all of a sudden your mind goes blank or you know some topic of conversation eventually dies out again and and you're just sort of just yeah just just standing there doing nothing um or sitting there um and and that's not an issue you know it's actually something just to embrace it's not something you should shy away from not something that you should actively seek to avoid and just realize that it is just a natural process of of human interaction really um so like you know it could happen when like you're approaching a girl like on the street or in public somewhere and you 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 basically just run out of things to say um what do most guys do when they run out of things to say they say oh it's nice to meet you okay bye or they do an early number close they'll be like oh let's exchange numbers you know after speaking for like a minute or something but actually you know it's almost like doing that is kind of like a defense mechanism um to avoid the awkwardness of that awkward silence um whereas actually you should just embrace it you know it's okay to have a bit of an awkward silence because Oftentimes, you know, when I find myself having an awkward silence with a girl, and actually it happens a lot with me, either like on a date or uh, in an interaction, yeah, it happens all the time with me, and it's totally fine. Um, but oftentimes what I find is that, uh, you know, a lot of the time the girl will actually fill in the, the silence herself, so, you know, there's an awkward silence, she may then ask a question to you, um, she could, yeah, and, and that's good, because it kind of, in some ways, forces a bit of investment from her. Um, and it's always good, you know, if the girl's asking you questions and stuff, that's great. Uh, um, so, so yeah, and, and also it just shows that, like, you're comfortable with the person. Because, like, if you think about it, like, you know, if you're with your friends and you're just chilling in, like, a car or something, you know, inevitably there's going to be a silence. Uh, but it doesn't, it's not necessarily an awkward silence because you're, you're comfortable with each other. But you want to be bringing that same vibe, that same energy with that girl that you're meeting because it just shows that you're comfortable with her. You're treating her like, you know, you already know her, even though you don't know her. You're trying to get to know her, but the vibe is, is established that you already, it's like you already know her. You know, you, you've assumed familiar, familiarity uh, with the girl, so that that's what you want to do, basically. Um, and, like, another thing is that, like, if you, if you do have an awkward silence with a girl, just own it, you know, just completely own it. And you can even verbalise it as well. You can say... Um, you know what, my mind's gone completely blank, this is the effect you're having on me, you know, make it fun, make it playful, you could even turn it into a bit of a tease, um, and, and be, you know, accusational on her, you can, like, blame it on her, for example, you can be like, it's all your fault, my mind's gone blank, um, that kind of thing, so, you know, and just, yeah, so basically just have fun with it and embrace it, um, don't treat it as such a negative thing that ne that needs to be avoided at all costs, uh, sorry, at, at all costs. Um, it's just something that inevitably happens and yeah, it's, it's cool. So what I would recommend is that like the next time you do find yourself in this position where you, you are confronted with a bit of an awkward silence, um, just try, try not to like end the conversation or run away from it or, or just spout some, you know, some, some, some stuff that feels forced for the sake of avoiding it. Um, try, try, try to just, you know embrace it like actually just have that awkward silence and you know what a lot of I find a lot of guys do you know especially if they like if they really like the girl they're speaking to you know that they're, they're far too they're playing it far too safe and they're afraid to like fuck up or have these like slightly awkward moments um because something you just have to realize is that whenever you meet a new person for the first time it's always going to be a bit awkward um but you just have to plow through and just grind it out a bit uh, and not not focus too much on the fact that it is awkward because that's inevitable. So like, <clears throat> yeah, it's it's just part of human interaction. It's always awkward when you meet a new person. Having an awkward silence, that's just one part of that. There's going to be plenty of other awkward moments as well. You know, uh, like for example, when you're on a date with a girl, you you ideally want to be going in for the kiss at some point. You know, that's fucking awkward. <laughs> no matter how you do it, no matter how smooth you think you are, it's always going to feel a bit fucking awkward. But the the main thing is that you embrace doing it and you generally will be rewarded for for doing it and taking that leap of faith um so that's the kind of mindset that you should have so like next time you're in a conversation with a girl whether it's on the street or on a date with a girl 
you have that awkward silence don't feel the need to fill, fill it in or avoid it just embrace it just let it happen um, and, and be, be okay with whatever the outcome is as a result of that and you will benefit long term from that cheers for watching if you'd be interested in one-to-one -one coaching with me where we'll go out in public and work on your approaching girls or more generally with your social confidence please visit my website ed-game.com